All right, so we're checking out the only game that forces you to listen to epic dance trance while you're looking at the first starting screen. It's Virtual Rise 3. No, I'm serious. There's like a beat drop and everything. There's no way out of it. You have to listen to it. You can't turn the music off on this screen. That you, I don't even know if this music is copyrighted or not. Like, I'm not sure if I, if I, well, here, this is here real quick. I'm going to let you listen to a little bit of it. Okay, yeah, that's what I'm dealing with right now, okay? You have no idea. So Virtual Rides 3 is a game where you get to run and operate an amusement park and let everyone have fun as they ride on various items in the pouring rain and lightning. Yes, I'm going to try and kill everyone. That's that's what we do here. We're Well, pi pixelated people. We're killing pixelate. Give me a break, YouTube. Let's do this. Visitor crowd. Lots. Welcome everyone to the frickin' amusement park, where an entire world of fun and adventure awaits us to discover. Welcome everyone to the Can Knockdown game, where a very tall and somewhat masculine lady with what appears to be beauty marks and or scars on her face and a really, really powerful five o'clock shadow underneath her chin Bruh. stares at us with her dead fish eyes, praying to God that we turn the other way. Yes. Look intently as her right collarbone <laughs> clips viciously through her shirt. Ma'am, do you need help? Do you need a break or something? Can I open this door? Like, is there any way I can get to you? Oh, I can just teleport through the door. You're doing a fantastic job, ma'am. Keep looking really, really angry at people. Right over here, you can get your fresh grilled goo. I think those are sausages. I'm. It looks like sausages. Can you get around back? What the hell? <laughs> Seriously? You guys can't just throw the garbage in a garbage can? I would blame it on the people in the park, but there's no one here yet. Ah, right over here we have hot JPEG pizza. This is the thinnest crust flattest pizza you'll ever get. And what the hell? If you look at the glass that's like covering the pizza, it is scratched to hell. Who is going after this pizza? It's like a bunch of zombies are trying to get at it. The whole point of this game is to operate the rides and like cause them to do various things to the people and like, you know, allow the people to go throughout the park and stuff like that. But I'm not gonna lie, our park is really, really weird. It's totally possible that he has been completely possessed by the devil right now. You can see him inhaling very deeply as he tries to keep his demonic powers with contained within the mortal form i don't even this game is really weird it's creepy like the game is supposed to be so lovely and 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 fun and happy it is just really creepy so far we've got a sweet shop over here where if you want to get a brownie you can get the diabetes size brownie was it say charlie's peanut butter and sweet sweeties is that supposed to be a Twinkie? Apparently no one cleans up after themselves in this park. I guess this is standard fare. You got chicken nuggets, soda containers, and used condom wrappers. Ah, our first park goers. A young lady and what I assume is her daughter. Look at them step languidly through the middle of the park. <sighs> Never mind, the mother just left her daughter to die. Okay, I'm gonna mention something real quick. And I, you guys are gonna have to let me know if I'm right on this in the comments section below. This is probably the ugliest child in a video game I've ever seen in my life. Where the hell is she going? Is this a child or just a really, really short lady? Okay, the the weirdness factor doesn't just extend to the people that are manning the stalls. Like, the individuals inside of the park are just as bad. Young lady, what is that in your hand? What is that, the diet-sized slice of pizza? It's a slice of pizza, but it's the size of a playing card. This lady, she got so offended. She's like, you call me fat? And she just walked away. Is that... I mean, is it just me, or is his head really, like, way too big for his body? He's also sauntering. All right, so anyway, the whole point of the game is that we can take the control of all these different items and allow everyone to have tons of fun in the park by ejecting them from the various rides. Let's give it a shot. What the hell did that just say? I'm looking through the different keybinds here. That's a flamethrower? Why the hell is there a flamethrower on this ride? Customize. Oh, you can change the name of the ride. All right, there we go. Just give it a little name right there like it's no big deal. Strobes. What do the strobes do? Oh, oh God. Okay, yep. Never mind. Hold on. Let me... Let me never use that again. Sorry for anyone who's... Jesus, turn it off! I'm sorry for anyone who is uh, very susceptible to flashing lights. <laughs> Jingles. What the hell is this? Is this German? I don't speak German. Okay. Okay, that sound effect is a sound effect that I use in my videos. 
All right, here we go. Now we got people coming into the park. Oh, the crowds are starting to get heavy. Come on, everyone. Line on up. Get your ass up inside of this freaking machine. Get inside End Me. Everyone loves End Me. Come on. Step right on. No big deal. What's the worst that could happen? I think there's a bunch of, like, different camera angles and stuff that you could do, too. Okay. Maybe a little... Did that guy just punch that guy in the balls? Okay, hold on. We need to take very, very close observation right here as this guy walks. Is he accepting a ticket? Right there. That is a strike in the sack. Now, you can sit on the ride as well if you want to. See right here? We're inside of our own seat and everything. We're going to get to watch as people vomit all over us. This lady is so tired of seeing these park goers that her glasses are opaque. She can't even see through them. You get to watch here as the, uh, the crowds very skillfully <laughs> interact with one another. This guy over here is doing a dance just to get on the ride. He's so happy to be riding on End Me. It's not every day that you get to ride on End Me. Did this lady just cut in line? Hey, ho. Get to the back of the line. Tabitha back here was having second thoughts, but this dude came in and like blocked her exit. She tried to leave, but suddenly she couldn't. The weird interactions that the people have in this game is really twisted. Like, I don't know what the hell they're doing. Like, it almost looks like they're harassing one another, but I'm not sure. Right there. Look at this. This is some sort of sexual harassment going on right now. Wow, everyone's having a ton of fun in the theme park. Ton of fun. Look at these faces. Look at the expression of bliss and absolute disinterest the most interested people are this guy and this girl in the background what the hell's on this guy's shirt is that a young man flying out of a ride sir that is inappropriate normally i would ask you to go home and change your shirt but that's funny enough that you can stay all right so now that damn near every available seat is just about taken let's go can i start this thing like before she sits down hold on let me try oh damn it shoots her into a seat all right, so you want this to be at full, I guess. I really don't know what any of this does, but we'll go ahead and do a little bit of this. What's the flamethrower again, L? Where does this even come out at? Restraints, T. Can you take them off while it's in motion? What exactly do you get to see in slow motion? How's it going, ball bags? Y'all still having fun? None of them care. Like... <laughs> Why did you even pay to come here if none of you are going to have any fun on this ride? All right, you know what? Gray has another idea then. There. How about now? Is everyone having fun now? Maybe it's only lobotomized people that can come to this park. Maybe that's what it is. Oh my god. I think this lady just put her hands up. Hallo friggin' Luya. There we go. Now we're getting a now we're getting a little bit of a of an emotional response from these people at least. It's interesting that the two women just don't care, and this guy was the only guy that shows any level of interest. There we go. Now everyone's starting to kind of get along. So what if the arms completely clip through the restraints? It's fine. I don't know if this lady is having a good time or if she's trying to break out of her restraints. All right, so here we are on the inside. Meanwhile, like Hurricane Wilma is beating the hell out of us. How you doing there, buddy? Bro, what did you shave with? Like a, a shard of glass? He's like, yes, Gray, I did. It's all I had left. All right, God Gray will give everyone beautiful weather so that they can leave the ride. Damn it. I'm not going to lie. I was trying to take the restraints off, but it says the ride has to be parked first. What a bunch of crap. All right, you uneventful ball bags. Y'all have a good time. There we go. Everyone off. That's right. Don't push your sh... <laughs> Like 30 people just vomited on each other. It was... Sp okay, hold on. We need to do that, but we need to make that happen and hit the slow-mo button at the right time. Let's let's try another ride. Hold on. <laughs> okay, hell yes. I don't know what this does, but it's called the Titan, and it's freaking huge. This, this should be good for throwing up. Yeah, we're gonna... I'm just changing colors on damn near everything here. I don't even know what half of this is gonna do. A little bit of this. Some of that. Okay, I figured something out. I guess the flamethrower exists in one of these rides, but it doesn't tell you which ride. I just want to mention what the level of detail is that we have. What the hell is that walking in the back? What is this? Oh my god, that child's head didn't formulate until I got close enough. There's a screensaver on the computer here. You all think you've seen the devil before? You ain't seen the devil before till you've seen this young man. Like, no one wants to get on my rides anymore. I don't know why. Here we go. Now we're getting a crowd. Was everyone levitating before when they were getting on the ride? Because everyone is very clearly levitating right now. Young man, if you want to get on the ride, you got to dance a jig. Perfect. You're accepted. Have fun on the ride. Did you have a big meal before you got on the ride, Mr. Moobs? I hope you did because it's all coming back in a couple of minutes. All right, I think we've got enough people for a decent waterfall of vomit. Let's start it all up here. That's right, everyone. Prepare your anuses. Oh, wow, this thing spins pretty fast. Oh. 
Oh. Oh my god. Oh, this is much worse than the other ride. Holy Jesus. Yeah, everyone likes a little bit of rain while they're on their ride. Is there like a bunch of wind or anything that we can throw at these people? You know what would be great? Is if every once in a while lightning would strike the rides. So this is what it's like to be on here. Um, <laughs> I'm pretty sure the lady next to me over here is comatose. She hasn't moved in quite some time. This guy over here is having a great old time though. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. First off, it looks like his arms are broken or dislocated. It's totally possible one or both has happened. But like this ride gives me motion sickness. What the hell is that? Is that the rain or is that this lady's skin pigmentation being ripped off of her body from the G-forces? Oh, how's that feel? That that ride about what you had expected? What's all like this oil spatter all over the ride? It kind of makes it look a little bit run down. Don't mind me. I'm just forcing these people to be on here for hours and hours. There we go. If everyone wasn't sick already, a little bit of strobe will help everyone out. Of course, the, the lightning is providing its own natural strobe. So this is one of the brand new rides that came in like a DLC. It's called the Bounce Machine, but that's a lame name. Hold on. All right, welcome everyone to the Rectuming. Uh, we're gonna see what sort of spew-worthy insanity we can get going on. Uh, but it, we are pretty lucky because there happens to be a pharmacy right next door. Oh, mother of Jesus, apparently everyone comes out at night. I decided to turn it over to night and now everyone's piloted into the park. Yes, you glowy-eyed freaks. Come on and step right up to the rectuming. All right, we've got almost every available seat ready. You can see uh, little Johnny over here is like, I want to go home! Too damn bad, Johnny. You're stuck in here. All right, main engine turn on. Get that going. Don't know what all this does, but we're putting it all up to- Holy Jesus. What does program two do? Ah. Huh. Bounces everyone up and down. Starts to get the, uh, the old contents in the stomach moving upward toward the esophagus. How about number three? Okay. Kind of moves everyone in a little bit of a spiral pattern. How about four? Ah, I like this one. I call this one alternating sadness. And five. I actually like four a little bit more because it's even worse because you go up singularly. Oh, yeah, right there. All right, let's hit these guys with some fog. There we go. You guys notice that, like, every time you get hit with fog, it always tastes like rotten cherries or something? So this is what it's like on the ride. I'm not going to lie. The, the pulsing of the up and down motions is pretty hardcore. Oh, yeah. Everyone loves this ride the most. I can tell. Just from the look on their faces. How about this right here, everyone? <laughs> oh my god. Is this fast enough for you? Y'all having a good time? All right, everyone's been up here for a little while. Let me see if I can park this thing and get everyone to uh, blow chunks on each other. Damn, this thing stops on a freaking dime. Okay, restraints off. Slow motion. What sort of cascading river of liquid fire? out from people's mouths might we get. I don't see anything. Nope, never mind. This guy is doing it while walking. That is some fantastic distance there. At least three to five feet of blow. Right over here, this poor lady is stopping the line completely as she hammers the floorboards with off yellow colored goo. And as everyone levitates off of the main paneling, I think we did a damn good job over here. Uh, you, people, you know that people have fun when they end up regurgitating all of their uh, funnel cake on each other after the ride. Anyway, folks, that's going to be it for Virtual Rides 3. Until the next time, stay foxy and much love. <laughs>